Okay guys and gals, Crypto Kurt here with yet another crypto video and finally I invested in a proper microphone so hopefully the voice quality and the removal of the background noises will be sufficient such that your listening experience will be a little bit better than it has been in my past and previous videos. So today we're going to be talking about registering your EOS tokens, specifically if you're holding them in the Exodus wallet. And what prompted me to do this video is I noticed yesterday I was looking at my Ether at one of my com, one of my accounts on Ether Scan. And just so you know, guys, you know if you're using my Ether wallet to access and move your tokens, you'll notice when you're inside my Ether wallet that there's two options. There's um, Ether Explore and Ether Scan. I prefer the EtherScan view, and I have found that when I compare the two, sometimes the uh, the EtherScan shows uh, all the tokens in on my address, whereas the other one doesn't always show all my tokens. So again, I prefer the EtherScan. But just a little trick: once you've clicked on that link from your My Ether Wallet, you now have a URL that you can save. And you can come back to that URL and view your account without actually having to go through my Ether wallet and potentially giving away information by using you know your private key or any of that other stuff. So again, you can open up your my Ether wallet, click on the Ether scan link that will take you to that uh, to your the address of your your address on the blockchain, and then you can save that URL in your favorites, then you can just go back and have a look at that whenever you'd like. So anyway, I was looking at my address two days ago, and I noticed that I had a I have some EOS in there, and as you guys know, the EOS is launching their mainnet soon. It's supposed to be in June, so this is on the EOS countdown. They're saying the uh, token snapshot is going to be taken on June the third, and they're going to be distributing the uh, EOS tokens, which are going to live on the EOS platform, and they're not going to be Ethereum based; they're going to be EOS based. So anyway, I noticed that I had a matching amount of EOS capital DAC tokens that had been applied to my account, which surprised me because first off, you're supposed to go register whatever address you have you're holding wherever you're holding your EOS tokens. Theoretically, the word has been to go how to go uh, register with EOS, and I don't remember registering that address with EOS. I might have done it in the past, but I just don't recall actually doing it. So I would suggest that if you are holding EOS in a MyEther wallet that you do go through the process of officially um, registering your address. But it may be such that they can take a look at the, you know, the blockchain and they can just see where the iOS tokens are and just send out the, the new version of the EOS token. But I also have some EOS tokens in my Exodus wallet as well. And again, I've seen some videos. Jay Snip did a video about how you got to go, you know, export your private key. And it's kind of a pain in the butt, really. So again, I was kind of waiting until the last minute. And then I noticed in my, I downloaded the most recent version of Exodus wallet yesterday. And it's version 1.49. And immediately it popped up a window that said, or I could see a little button in the window that said, your EOS tokens are not registered. Basically, click here to register them. When I clicked here, it took me to this blog post, which walks you through exactly what you need to do. So basically, you're going to go into your Exodus wallet. You're going to go into your EOS wallet, which is held in your Exodus wallet. And this is, again, once you've downloaded version 1.49 and installed it. And you're going to have this option here. It says your EOS uh, address is registered correctly. It's not going to say that. It's going to say that your EOS registered has not, your EOS address has not been registered. Let's see if they do a screenshot of that. Um, okay, so this video is showing you basically what you need to do. So it's it's going pretty fast. You can see, go down to the bottom of help. Uh, you can see there it got a register there, and that's it. Now it did take point zero 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 two seven and some small changes of Ethereum to make that happen. So to make this work, you will have to have a tiny, tiny bit of Ethereum. But again, they're showing you what you do. You go in, and this is just a looping video, so we'll just let it loop one more time. So again, you're going to log into your Exodus wallet. You're going to need it says point zero zero one five. It took point zero 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 two seven. Go to help. Scroll to the bottom. Here's how do I register my EOS tokens. Click on the register, register now, and away it goes. Now, I have not yet to see my EOS tokens, the new EOS tokens, show up in my Ether wallet. So, again, I'm not exactly across 
how um, the EOS is doing the distribution, but I do know that I did get my new version of the EOS tokens distributed already to my Ether wallet address. So again, that must be happening um, either early or uh, maybe that's a placeholder for the for the next tokens. I don't know. Maybe someone here has a better idea of what's going on. But I just wanted to share with you that if you do have EOS tokens in your Exodus wallet, it's super easy if you upgrade to the latest version of Exodus to just go in there and register. And that'll guarantee that you're going to get your new version of the EOS tokens, which are then going to live on the EOS platform. All right, guys, so this was just a quick one to follow up. Again, this is much like uh, the same way that they went through to give you the Bitcoin Cash. And I'm hoping that if it ever gets becomes real, that they'll have the same option for Litecoin Cash as well. But again, this is all about EOS and registering your EOS address with Exodus uh, or using your Exodus address and registering your EOS address so that you can get the new version of the EOS tokens. All right, guys, this is Kurt out.